Hello, Tom from Flankstone, Canada. In this short video, I would like to share with you what you could expect it when you renting a room from Flankstone, Canada. So I will call it one principle and seven common sense. So let's start with this so-called first one principle. Every single residence living in Flankstone, Canada, our goal is to share homes happily together. So it will be your home, it will be the home we provide for our friends and guests, so you will be treated in such a way. So every single residence living in any of Flyingstone Canada's properties in renting a room will be either a student who is study full-time and or a working professionals and uh, there is going to be absolutely no criminal record and that is a mandatory requirement and also everybody in nature will be willing to be sociable and to be willing to do their own efforts to make our shared home a beautiful place for everybody to enjoy that is what we call the principle so it is either student or working professionals who would like to share happiness together. So that's what we call the principle. And what we call the seven common sense or the things you could expect it from our properties and the roommates you are going to stay with are going to be including seven things. Starting from the very first is called the cleaning. Cleaning is absolutely the top priority for any of home. There is a very interesting old saying uh, in China is basically says if one cannot clean a room how could you expect him or her to clean the world in the future. So to keep our room, our shared home clean is absolutely essential. So to make it happen, here is what we are asking or we actually practicing in our shared homes. So we call it a common sense. Uh, basically, it's just one word. Be polite and uh, aware that you are independent living together with other roommates. Clean after yourself. So that is the biggest word we would like to ask everybody to follow, which are working fairly well. Also goes hands by hands. We have a program called I Clean Program, which is to asking every single of our uh, roommates to take turns to clean the house common area on a weekly basis. And at the end of each week, there will be uh, cleaning photos to be posted on the private group in the Facebook so that everybody knows the place is always keep clean. So number one, common sense you will find and you will practice and also you will enjoy is to keep our place clean, tidy, neat and enjoyable. Number two, we call it sociable. When we have this great opportunity to meet with people you never ever had chance in the future to meet before, we encourage people to take advantage of this great opportunity to connect, to share, to be able to build your uh, network to extend it. So in order to do that in FSC, uh, shared accommodation and our community. We build a Facebook community called Confidant. Everybody joined us, renting a place from us, will be the so-called Facebook group member automatically. So Facebook uh, join the private Facebook uh, member will be our first way to promote everybody to be sociable. And on top of that, we also encourage you to connect with your roommates through Instagrams, Twitters, and uh, all kinds of social media. Is 
social media itself enough? No, we don't believe so. We strongly believe face-to-face -face interaction with the people that stayed together with you is way more important. So that's why in Flying Stone Canada, we actually facilitate, promote, organize all kinds of social events all year long so that everybody can have a great opportunity to connect and don't uh, underestimate the power of connection. I have another video talk about what are the five levels of the career for any profession. You will know from that uh, video, if you don't listen it, uh, I will highly encourage you to take a look. And that is an eye-opening experience. Any level beyond the basic, you need personal skills. You need to know how to connect with the others. So take on that advantage, that great feature of our community. Number three in uh, Flagstone Canada, in all the shared accommodation, what we will have almost is, is a common sense again, is called quiet time. It's like any home. We have a busy day, we come back home, what do we want? We need a good time to rest, to recharge and to be ready fully for the second day work or study. So quiet time is very, very important. We actually put it into our contract. When you sign in, it has to be sleep or turn everything down to personal level from 11 to the second day at 8 a.m. And that including every day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, uh, obviously you have active time and you do have this so-called quiet time. Number four, I call it SON, no SON. SON stands for sleeping overnight. Why not? Because the place we have is for all you and your roommates to enjoy not your friends to stay and take advantage of to be able to sleep overnight. I understand some people are very sociable. However, uh, your friends are welcome to come visit anytime. However, there is a fine line to draw to start to have this line being overstepped and people start to having people sleep over. Nobody wants to see their place is being filled with all kinds of people second day in the morning because they are just simply come over and sleeping over. So the next one is called uh, number five, common sense, is how am I going to do the cooking? So as for the cooking, um, I think again, it all goes towards so-called common sense. In general, we encourage everybody cooking their own meals because it is a way more healthier and economic and it is going to be a good time you can socialize with other roommates so, so cooking in general is absolutely encouraged however there are some differences in terms of the smell taste so on so just be sensitive and if you cook some ethnic food for example I, as a person from, uh, originally from China, I may like to do some Chinese food. There are some certain spices are relatively stronger. What do you do? Maybe just give a few quick uh, notes to your roommates if somebody has happened to be there. And also when you finish the cooking, use the, uh, the, the vent to vent the smell out. And when you put it in the fridge, cover it up with the lid, so on, and uh, basically reserve it properly. That's really all it takes. It doesn't take arms and legs and we don't want to, and there's no need even to go to that link. So, okay, am I going to be discriminated by somebody because I can't cook in something? No, you are not. In Flagstone, Canada, you are encouraged to cook what you like. Just be reasonably sensitive to the surrounding area and do certain things to be polite. Just be aware, that's all we need. And number six is what we call the dress code. Most of our shared accommodations are so-called mixed gender. They are males, females, so very basic uh, common sense. Again, as a male or female, when you dress in the common area, trying to be casual but not too exposed. 
especially if you have certain ethnic background people, just trying to learn a little bit more. It's treated as a great opportunity to learn how to um, you know, show the respect to the other cultures when you coexistent together. So again, as I said, just be more common sense in terms of when you dress in the summer, trying to not expose too much, you know, dress like a shirt or a little uh, shirt that should be fine, but don't, you know, sometimes <laughs> I don't want to uh, go too far, but some people may be half naked, just walk around. That is not recommended, definitely. So, and that is something I want to remind people who are going to join us, just give a little bit of thought and then act properly. And the virus number seven is called a share. Again, when you're working and study and living together with all kinds of people, there are a lot of great opportunities to share. And you will share foods, you will share cultures, you will share thoughts. And those are all beautiful experience as long as you put a bit more common sense and awareness to it. For example, I saw there's a beautiful uh, piece uh, of a story I want to share with you. We have a gentleman, he has a little farm and he brought uh, the honey uh, made from that farm, poorly natural uh, piece, uh, piece of product made by his own farm. He brought to share with roommate, beautiful. But what he did even more thoughtful is to put a little note saying, this is the natural honey came from what kind of flower if somebody allergic be aware. And that is beautifully demonstrated the spirit of share, but also the awareness that some people may or may not be necessarily, you know, allergic to certain food. So great example, when you share something, again, use common sense. We highly encourage you share. At the same time, be aware there are certain things that people may or may not take it as you thought they may naturally. So overall, living in Flagstone, Canada, any rental properties in our shared homes, I can guarantee you is going to be a lifelong treasures great experience. We welcome you to our place as long as you are together with us, respect the principles we put in there and the seven so-called common sense rules. And there are clean, sociable, keep quiet time, no sleeping over, cooking encouraged, but just trying to be more common sensible and dress code properly and the sharing is encouraged if you know and just with the common sense. Those are the seven things I want to share with everybody. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.